So what's in this big giant box? Santa came early. Santa came early. So a uh, little bit of an adventure getting our propeller through UPS. That, that was fun. Uh, apparently we had a delivery date. Uh, the, our only really indication that we were getting our propeller is a UPS notification saying a box is going to be delivered to us. With a date. With a date. Uh, I legit watched the truck drive by our house that day. And then the tracking status went to um, unable to deliver. I call UPS. I said, well, it hasn't been scanned in a while, so I'm sorry. They lost your package. Just, just call them and they'll... Um, uh, send you a new one. S send you a new one. It's like, it doesn't work that way. We've been waiting six to eight months for this <laughs> propeller. It's a custom... It's not really a custom propeller. It is the Hartzell 74 inch two blade aluminum standard prop. But um, so yeah, fiasco back and forth. And they finally said that they're in the middle of changing facilities and things are getting lost. I'm like, how do you lose a box the size of almost a human being? I do think you could fit in this box. <laughs> but um, then they told us it was too heavy to deliver. Yes. Then they got the, the app legit said package refused to, too heavy to deliver. And I emailed Vans and um, the heart cell representative was like, come on, they deliver this box all the time. We send out multiple a day that it, it was just craziness, but it showed up. We got it here and now it's time to open it up. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. I mean, we're ready to put the propeller on the airplane right now. Yeah, right? this is what we're waiting for to, you know, start flying. <laughs> Not so much. This will <laughs> sit as lawn art in our house for a little while, but it's all right. We got it. So let's break into this thing. Watch live on air as we figure out how to cut these straps. So first box. It's the a, manual. <laughs> the owner's manual. So we get a information and um, model serial number. Yeah, a little data plate here. Probably going to need this. And then we get our Product registration, propellers, owner manual. It's good to know. Installation and removal. I think that will be important. There's an uncrating section. So let's read our uncrating checklist. Put the propeller on firm support. Remove the banding and external brace. Remove the cardboard from the hub and blades do not stand the propeller on a blade tip put the propeller on a padded surface that supports the entire length of the propeller remove the plastic dust cover inspection after shipment uh, reassembly of propeller disassembled for shipment so basically check for damage yep uh, and then here's the attachment spots and all that good stuff so It'll be a while because we don't have an engine to put it on yet. <laughs> but, um, and more data plates and data. Uh, FAA documents here. Uh, this is our form 8130 9. This is what makes it legal in the FAA mind. But then again, it's going on an experimental, so it doesn't matter as much. All right, let's get to the exciting stuff. All right, let's cut some more bands. There's one. There's two. And there's three. All right, now what? <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. 
I'm thinking we just lift it up. Okay. Sounds easy, right? Oh gosh, don't you drop it. <laughs> box back look at this pretty propeller wow it's so furry For damage. So this is our nice, beautiful. No nicks. No nicks yet. Mm. So 74 inch constant speed propeller will go in our IO390 or YO390 EXP. Thunderbolt, very exciting. So why did we, and let's go and flip this around a little bit. It said put it on something soft. I'm using my lap as something soft. So here is the attachment places. This will just, you know, screw in and maybe a little Loctite, a little duct tape. Hopefully it'll stay on. It'll be fine see the sealant that they put on the prop hub so this is the magic that causes these to turn in air to go different speeds nice safety wire there and then our spinner will go on on top of this on the front it's a beautiful propeller don't get it dirty it's not smudge proof stop you're getting it dirty <laughs> <laughs> so Light touch. So why did we choose this propeller over other propellers? Over like the three blade or the carbon fiber? Yep. Well, in my opinion, the carbon fiber was going to be uh, more of a headache maintenance wise. Yep. And I'll be honest, that is kind of debatable because some people say it's so much easier to repair carbon fiber um, if you get rather large nicks in there, but it's a different skill set. So if you're at some podunk airport, are you grounded until you find someone who could do carbon fiber repair? Uh, there are a lot of repairs you can do um, uh, in the field on a carbon fiber. So it's not as bad as I originally thought it was. Um, but for me, it came down to the cost difference. Uh, you know, it was a significantly more cost. It's a little bit lighter, um, but I'm just not too terribly worried about weight on the 14. Uh, by the time we get done building it, I think we're going to have as much useful load as we could ever use anyways. So the, I forgot, was, you know, we're saving 5, 10, 15 pounds. By going but carbon fiber. By going carbon fiber, I don't think that's going to make or break anything. Performance is... Um, Isn't it you get better climb? Uh, well, three-bladed prop in general gives you a better climb, but you um, two-bladed is going to perform better in cruise. cruise. So uh, it's not like the RV-14, no matter what you do to it, climbs slow. So I really didn't feel like optimizing for a quicker climb. Uh, over the lifetime of our airplane, two or three knots of extra airspeed will add up. You know? mm -hmm. So I really wanted to optimize for cruise speed because that's something we would use. You know, you're flying to Oshkosh, Florida, 
uh, going to the ski slopes, wherever we might go, getting there one or two knots faster over time will add up significantly. So, um, but cost was the real thing. <laughs> so why do I have a propeller sitting in my lap right now when we don't even have a fuselage or a tail kit finished? Because the price increased, what, 15%? Yes. Um, even saw some comments on our YouTube channel recently of people who ordered after the price increase and their numbers are significantly more. So we ordered our engine and our propeller the day we put the order in the day, the last day before the, the day price. before the price increase. And by ordering the propeller and the engine together, we also get an additional discount from Vans. So uh, we were able to get all this here um, in time and save a lot of money by doing it. So uh, it was a little bit of an adventure getting it shipped here, but it does ship standard UPS. Uh, expect your driver to be unhappy with you that day because the, this is... This is uh, didn't yeah. you have to help him carry it in? I did, just because by the time it it finally showed up, I wanted no mishaps or anything. So uh, he and I uh, carried it into the garage, um, and he was like, what the heck is this? Uh, and, uh, of course, coming into the garage, you got to saw a half-built airplane, and he was like, all right, that's just crazy, and he <laughs> walked off for the rest of his day. Um, man, this is beautiful. So pretty. Light touch, no yep. fingerprints. I, and I'm a big fan of hard cell. Um, it's been a while since I've flown a plane with a hard cell prop, but um, you know, not the best unit of measure for choosing the best aviation uh, equipment, but they take care of us at Oshkosh. There's always that big hard cell uh, hops and props party every year that I've always appreciated. And hard cell recently has been doing a lot of buying up um, different components and the STCs and the their worthiness so that they are more than just a propeller company now. Um, starters, alternators, um, uh, prop governors, uh, a lot of the other components that you need. Hartzell is kind of the go-to source now. Um, and everybody I've met from the company, uh, mainly at these uh, Oshkosh events, are just really amazing uh, people and the kind of people I want to work with. And I'm glad that uh, they were able to give us such a beautiful prop and we were able to give them our money instead of going with uh, some of the other competitors. Looking forward to getting it on the airplane. So, um, well, uh, hopefully not too long. You'll see a video of us putting this on our airplane, but for now, I think we're just gonna let it sleep in the guest bed. Probably. Probably. I would expect next Christmas this will be Yes. Going on. Looking forward to it. Uh, engine shows up. September. September. Uh, less than a year now. It's probably should go build some stuff. Yeah, let's do that. Well, thank you for joining us on 14 Victor Echo. This is our propeller. See you next time.